Welcome back to Next Gen Investing. It's now time to look at our under 30 name today, which is We Ride. Initially was higher actually on the session, giving back though some of that strength in real time. Joining us now to discuss more is George Tillis, senior markets correspondent for the network. So George, this is interesting considering it's RoboTaxi was granted this this autonomy, basically autonomous driving permit in Saudi Arabia. So is this a further development that we could see perhaps weigh on competition here in the U.S., or is this just more of an, an international story for this driving autonomy? Yeah. Actually, I'll address both of those really good questions, Jenny. I think, uh, you know, first off, we ride as a Chinese autonomous driving uh, technology company. They're, they're focused on producing robo-taxi-like software. But if you look at their niche markets, um, they're not necessarily the passenger cars. We know Tesla... Uh, is aggressively pushing the software-driven approach using cameras and artificial intelligence. Uh, Google's Waymo has more of a LiDAR and radar-based system. You can actually see the difference in the in the vehicle footprint and all the technology hardware that's associated with Waymo uh, driving. Uh, we know that BYD is, is a major player in this space uh, alongside vehicle production. But if you look at WeRide, they're actually more of a software and hardware-based company uh, trying to deploy in markets uh, internationally, which now they have about six cities, including the recent announcement that they're launching essentially a new pilot program in Saudi Arabia. Uh, actually, the Gulf states have been very, uh, very pronounced and, and very prominent in addressing some of the uh, autonomous driving needs in those nations, perhaps because they don't necessarily have concentrated urban centers like places in in a, you know Amsterdam or, or in the UK, for instance. Uh, so these are great testing grounds. But the other, the other thing is you got to keep in mind that Tesla and the other autonomous driving uh, companies are really focused on passenger cars and trucking. But there's a whole niche market, which includes things like airport shuttles, uh, street sweepers, for instance. These are areas that are underserved still. Um, if you consider uh, light trucks, uh, when it comes down to things like garbage trucks, just to give you an example, um, these are areas that we write is trying to address, and these are again niche areas to which again many of these uh, many of these uh, programs and, and types of, uh, of vehicle needs can be autonomized. Uh, and this also includes things like transporting uh, passengers from places like terminals and so forth and shuttles. So I'm just giving you some context uh, of what's happening here. But uh, the pilot programs that we write has been uh, securing is now over six countries, thirty different cities. Uh, and the company is generating sales. If you look at sales last year, they're around $49 million. And there may be an inflection point here in the, uh, in the technology applications for WeRide because uh, even though they do compete with uh, other technology giants in China like Baidu and, uh, and other companies like Pony AI, uh, symbol P-O-N-Y, they're, uh, they're expected to generate over $100 million next year. And in 2026, uh, over $300 million. These are based on estimates right now. So, you know, $50 million last year, $300 million next year. That's a pretty significant increase in expected revenue. No doubt about it, George. I see NVIDIA is the third largest shareholder as well. So they got some important backers of the company. Uh, but my question to you, and this is sort of something I think that you've been dancing around in your answers, is... Is this, just, is this just more evidence that this technology at some point, this software is going to be commoditized down the line? I do. I, I think it's happening. I, I think, you know, I'm just going to use Tesla as an example. Um, I talked about how the earnings multiple is very expensive. Uh, Post earnings, the stock is reacting quite well. I'm not suggesting it, you know, as an investment, but I think there's a, there's a breakthrough, a technology breakthrough occurring in the deployments of uh, autonomous driving and real world, real world applications, it's it seems to be accelerating in terms of the phase in, uh, you know, fully autonomous aspects which are coming down the road. So uh, the pie is going to be very big. It just comes down to applications, competition, uh, first mover advantage. These are all the questions you have to ask if you're investing in anything that's autonomy driven, uh, and also the deployment of scalable technologies used by other manufacturer. So if we ride ends up securing the technology partnerships with companies like Uber, and they can deploy it in the real sense uh, that that you can use Uber software alongside we uh, rides technologies and AI, uh, that'll be it. That'll be good. But at the same time, um, the expectations are still quite high, and they, they may not necessarily manifest into the near future. 
Yeah, and I, I think that's also a good point and a good takeaway here on the the autonomy that we're already seeing creep into the the ride hailing and, and you know basically just overall I'd say autonomous auto space. So appreciate that, George, for the insight here on We Ride.